Welcome to UNNS. Welcome to System Software Lectures. In our today's video, we are going to discuss about machine dependent assembler features. There are mainly two features comes under this topic. They are instruction formats and addressing modes and program relocation. So I am going to discuss about the instruction formats and addressing mode in this video and the program relocation will be explained in the next video. So the, we are going to discuss uh, about the features using the implementation of SIC XC assembler. So please make sure that you know about the SIC instruction formats and addressing modes very well. So first, when we come to the instruction formats and addressing modes, the translation of register to register instructions. Okay. So in this format, that means in register to register instruction format, the assembler simply converts the OM code to machine language and change each register to its corresponding numeric value. If you remember about the registers in SIC and SICXC, we know that there is a representation like AXL and there is an equivalent numerical value for each register. For example, the accumulator's equivalent numerical value is 0. So, uh, here what the assembler will do means when the a register to register instruction comes, the assembler will take the instruction. It just converts the O code into its corresponding machine language equivalent and then the register to its equivalent numerical value. Let's go for an example. Here we have an instruction compare A and S. So, A is accumulator and S is under register. So, the equivalent code for this instruction is A0. Okay, so the equivalent uh, O code for the instruction compare is A0 and the corresponding numerical value for accumulator is 0 and it is for S is 4. So, the conversion of this instruction will be A0 and 0, 4. A0 is the equivalent code for this compare instruction and, and A which is replaced with 0, S is replaced with for like this, the register to register instructions are translated by the assembly. The second type of translation is uh, format for instructions. If you know about the SIC XC instructions, there are four types of instruction: one byte instruction, two byte instruction, three byte instruction, and four byte instruction. So when the format is four byte instruction or format four. The assembler will first go to check for a prefix plus symbol. That means if there is a plus symbol as prefix, then it is format 4. If you have not mentioned the format 4 instruction, the assembler will simply go for PC relative addressing and it will try to translate using PC relative addressing. In case if PC relative addressing is not possible because of the displacement value, it will just go for base relative addressing. If both these relative addressing modes are not available and extended formats cannot be used, then the assembler will give an error message. Like this, the format for instructions will be translated. Now, the translation of PC relative addressing or we can say, uh, say that the format 3 instructions. Mainly, we are using base relative and uh, PC relative addressing modes in format 3. So, uh, in this type, the instruction contains the O code followed by a 12 bit displacement value. So, the PC relative addressing made target address can be calculated by adding the displacement value with the program counter value. So, how to find the displacement value? Just we can subtract the PC counter value from the target address so that we can get the displacement value like this the assembler will calculate the displacement value and do the uh, corresponding translation. Same method is used for base relative addressing or base relative instruction also. Instead of this PC here the base register will be used. And next about the uh, indirect addressing mode. Here the displacement value is computed to produce the target address and after calculating the target address, the bit n, the n, x, i, b, p, n, there are 6 flag bits, this uh, bit n will be set to 1. And if you check about the immediate addressing mode or immediate addressing instructions, then there is no need of any memory reference because the value is directly given. 
uh, you can just convert the immediate operon into its internal representation and insert it into uh, insert this internal representation. Okay, so the main points to be remembered in the first assembler features is the PC relating or base relative addressing is represented at the opcode with memory value. Indirect addressing mode is represented in this format. Immediate addressing mode opcode with immediate value. So immediate value is represented using a hash symbol. Extender format, how to find the extender format? There will be a prefix plus symbol. Indexed addressing mode, it can be identified like this and register to register instruction and trans above translation, there are two types of translation, register translation and address translation. So I hope it is clear. We will discuss about the program location in our next video. Thank you.